Jake Elliott is out and ready to kick this one away. And away we go at the link. Here's Avery Williams on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So out had the Falcons for their first possession. They're led out by a QB who made his starting debut all the way back in 2012. You weren't still playing then, were you, Brock? He's found plenty of touchdowns since then. It's Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade has started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him, despite all the stats, are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those. Looking to throw right away. He'll get this complete to Mooney. Still fighting forward. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons take a 6-0 lead right away. One snap in, and this offense as efficient as they could be, partner, and looking very dangerous to begin this ball game too. Yeah, you know, it's one thing for coaches to tell us in our production meetings they want to be a quick strike offense, got to be explosive. But they put that talk into action. One play from scrimmage, one touchdown, and one massive statement sent across the field. Young Hoi Ku on for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Out to kick it away, here's Pinion. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So here are the Eagles now for their first drive. They're led out by an incredible score through the air and on the ground. He was picked 53rd back in 2020. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, this is one of those situations where a quarterback has just got to say to himself, poised. Be poised. Yeah, your team just gave up a big blow on the other side, and you don't have to get it all back in one play like they just did. you got to go out there with poise to do your job and go lead your team. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They run it with Saquon Barkley. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Here's another carry for Barkley. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Moving in the right direction, five yards there, but still got a third and nine coming up. You know, Kate, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. Tight end cut across the middle. This gets the first and more. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly, you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. First down throwing for Hertz. That's into the hands of Barkley. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. 
and it sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He brings it in. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles finish off their opening drive. Dallas Goddard the touchdown. So a touchdown on the board for Brock as they start this game off a perfect one for one offensively. Yeah, I'm gonna call that scripting for success right there. Ooh. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are gonna be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. They couldn't take away that big old tight end. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. All set for the kickoff. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. Returns looking good so far. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Onto the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. Well, Brock, it only took them one play to reach the end zone last drive. They might have to work a little bit harder this time out. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and 10, here's Cousins. Quick hitter complete. We'll head out of bounds after a small game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. from the 34. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch, that yak. Well, I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? If we chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. So with the Falcons set to punt on fourth, on comes Bradley Pinion. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Shotgun snap for Hertz. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Second and three now. Motioning him from the slot right. From the 31. Completes this one to Jahan Dotson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They got 24 yards on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. 
Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Hurts now from the gun. Cox, there's that rookie out of Florida State. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You can go to a Little League field, tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. And he's someone you could depend on to create space and make catches out of it. Getting out to his left. He takes it himself. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I can promise you, that was the goal from the moment he took off. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. And it's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. Offense set for a first and ten. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. And he's able to bring this one down to the four-yard line. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. Man, offenses love execution and plays like that on first down, Kate, because now that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. They motion the tight end over. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. Where one defender failed while well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Third and four coming up now. Hurts setting up to throw. Forced out to his right, and he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles break the tie here in the first. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. Just a great effort there from Embrock to take it upon himself, embrace the initiative, and turn that drive into six. You know, Kate, there was a day when you were watching Steve Young, or Randall Cunningham, and that felt like a bonus touchdown. <laughs> but that's not today. It feels like every quarterback's got to be able to score, be a dual threat on the ground. It's part of an offense every single team relies upon. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff. Return starts at the nine. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Here's Atlanta ready to take over possession. They're still in search of that first first down of this game, Brock. Hoping to put together a drive and avoid calling on the punter again. Set first and ten. Out of the gun, Cousins. Got a man, it's Drake London. And he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you gotta earn your place there. Easy way to do it, catches just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They'll run it here with Bijan Robinson. 
crosses midfield, still going. And he has this all the way down to the 29-yard line. That goes for 36 yards. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. They don't always get the attention they deserve on the broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. So the big play has them well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling the preseason game. And Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top. Stay on top. Stay on top. You'll give up a short the lot route like that, but you stay on top of the deep threat. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And the Falcons will have a first. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Working inside the red zone. No hesitation, and that one's caught. Options are open here. It's second and inches. A give left side. Here's Robinson. And he's in. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons cut it to a low point on the scoreboard. It's a Bijan Robinson touchdown. They can go to the locker room's tied if they put this through. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. To kick it away, here's Pinion. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. First down, a run with Barkley. And he manages to get back to the line, but no further, as we're at the end of one. This has the makings of a shootout, a lot of points, but still tied as we reach the end of one. Both teams neck and neck so far. We'll return to the link right after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They still have 10 to go here. It's second down. Throwing here hurts. Here's one left side. He's got a complete pass. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. 
It's a pickup of 34 yards. And that's good for an Eagles first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helped set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. And all he can get is one yard, ran that right into the defensive front. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. And I know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Hurts. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Ooh, he knew he was going to pay for throwing that. I knew it from up here in the booth watching that happen. But that's an experienced quarterback. If that first primary target isn't there, make sure you find your safety valve. And that got them some yards. So taking that shot, well, it was not for nothing. On third down, it's Hurts. Complete beyond the marker. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. Motion man sent left. First and ten. Here's Hertz. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Toss play to Barkley. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Only a yard from that time, so now third nine. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. Throw in on third and long. That's cut for the first. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They're going to run with Barkley. And he's in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The Eagles take a second quarter lead. Saquon Barkley, the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff. This return starts at the five. This return makes it up to the 25. Out of the field runs the Atlanta offense. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you gotta imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. They gotta yeah. give their defense a chance to catch your breath and turn some of the momentum in the building.
Grimes starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Nabbed by Kyle Pitts. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century. And it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now it's Cousins. Trying to connect, but it winds up incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they need to get four on third down. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. He gets six on that play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find, Kate, in the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners, because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. First and 10, a run to Robinson. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Here's a counter give to Robinson. And he'll be stopped after getting this down to the 31. Call it four yards, and they're set up with a manageable third and two. I know we all love the big home run plays, the highlight real plays, but as an offense, these are just the stay on schedule kind of plays. But I love the commitment to this run game. Keep working that body, keep working that body, keep working that body, and eventually you can take the will away from your opponent. Making defenders pay for trying to tackle him. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one goes for 25 yards. And that gives them first and goal. I'll tell you what, Kay. One of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. And because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Give him four on that play. So now they've got second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
Still reeling a little after fumbling that away, but they're going to get it right back with this kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Falcons and running back B. John Robinson getting set to begin another drive. And that front is really going to need to buckle down and provide some more opposition because he's gotten off to an excellent start here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing his cousins. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner Johnson. Somewhat surprising interception there, Brock. You don't see nearly as many of those on shorter, safer throws like that. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Coordinators and coaches offensively look for layups, Kate. You like basketball, mm -hmm. right? They look for layups, mm -hmm. easy gimmies. And in the short field, that usually is the case, but not against a defense like this, and not a defense that has the awareness of what they're trying to do. The Eagles and Saquon Barkley ready to take over once again. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, they have been perfect. Yeah, and in order for that to happen, somebody somewhere on this defense has got to rise to the occasion. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Hurts. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So that brings up second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Second down. Hurts throwing again. Able to find Dotson here. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Third and just two to go. They motion the slot man right. Looking to throw on third and two. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Falcons get it back with a nice return to boot down inside the 30. And what a huge bonus on top of the takeaway. Not only did you steal the possession, but you immediately, Kate, flip this field and give your teammates a golden opportunity to punch it in for six. And if they score quickly, well, it'll put that opposing offense right back out there, still reeling from that interception. Their offense headed out now. Not much time left before the half. And, Brock, I know the goal is always points every drive, but I think just as big a goal, got to play clean football here. You cannot give it away for a third consecutive possession. Yeah, we call that rebuilding some confidence in yourself as a group, right? Just to execute without the mistakes. Pros... You can shake off a turnover with ease, but back-to-back, -back, even the seasoned vets have a little trouble getting past that. On first and ten, it's Cousins. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he's out a yard or two shy of the 15. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. From the red zone now. You don't get this complete to Pitts. And this play reaches the 12 yard line before the stop is made. Second and six coming up here. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. He brings it in. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. Timeout called by Atlanta. That's gonna be at second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half.
battle coming up on third and inches. Now Cousins again. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. I'll say this, unless you're committed to going for it on fourth down, I just don't see why you throw it there. Just power it forward for half a yard and reset those chains. Then take your shots further down the field. So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Hui Ku out for the field goal. They're going to mark this as a 24-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. Starting from the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Eagles setting out their offense one last time in the first half. And with a two-score lead partner, they've got the option to sit on that, so or they could try something really aggressive to end the half. They'll begin this drive with barely over 25 seconds left. From the pistol, Hurts. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I can hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys, and I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver, and that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. They'll motion Smith left. We're at halftime here in Philadelphia, and the Eagles have soared to a lead at the break. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much, and with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. to kick it away. Here's Pinion. He fields it from the eight. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Oh, hang on there. Hang on a moment. Looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. First and 10 now from the 30. Hurts now from the gun. This one's hauled in on the left side. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have. 
and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Barkley trying this up the gut. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. They go to Barkley again. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Sterator index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Man in motion headed right. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Assignments were tested, and they were ready for it defensively. That's an excellent stop at the line. And it's going to make this offense seriously question revisiting that call. Second and ten need to get some positive yardage here. They run it with Saquon. And this one does not go far. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Shotgun snap for Hertz. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. That's Justin Simmons. They worked hard to have the halftime lead brought, but now that defense working hard to take it away. Not wasting any time, are they? You know, they love to say about baseball, Kate, baseball's a game of adjustments. So is the NFL. And especially in the second half, you have all that data from the first half. You want to take it all in, and defensively, you want to adjust exactly what they did to take the ball away there to begin the second. The Falcons ready for their next possession. And down double digits, Brock, field goals like we saw on their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Out of the gun, Cousins. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Kate, okay, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Play action now for Cousins. He's got London left side. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. That's good for seven yards. And the Falcons will have a first. An option give to Robinson. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. That holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. To the air, Cousins. Got him in over the middle, complete. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. Second down now, seven to go. Oh, 
Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And he reaches midfield and starts driving into Eagles territory. Give him about three yards, and now they're gonna have third and five to figure out. Here's Cousins now. Complete beyond the marker. And he's able to get this down to the 36. That's a pickup of nine. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Throwing with a blitz on the way. And he catches May down the right sideline. Big gain, 14 on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. First down, Falcons. Going right side, Robinson with it. Room inside the 10, and he's in. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons start the second half with some needed points. It's a Bijan Robinson touchdown. This was a clear passing down, Brock, and the run surprised all of us, and there it goes for a touchdown. That's well said. Rewarded for going against the grain. Common sense analytics tell you throw it, but the surprise paid dividends. Now the Falcons offense staying on the field, lining up to go for two. He's throwing for it. And they get the two point conversion. Nice catch in the end zone there. They're back within a field goal now. Critical two point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three point game and especially mm. different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game tying field goal at some point soon. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts ready to go once more on offense. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. You're going to go with Barkley on the counter. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane up field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down throwing for Hertz. 
He's got Devontae Smith. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Running is Barkley. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down. But you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play action pass in a similar down and distance. And that defense is going to have to key on the run. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. On the play fake, it's Hurts. To the left sideline, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. I don't care how good a secondary you are, how loaded you are with talent, when you've got time to allow a receiver to work from one side of the field all the way to the other versus zone coverage, well, you're going to make a defense pay. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Back to throw, Hurts. This one finds Goddard. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. This throw is caught. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. That's the end of the third on Sunday night. It's Eagles football trying to carry this lead across the finish line. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Hurts throwing again. Got it. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles make it a nine-point advantage. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. All set for the kickoff. This return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Falcons and this running back headed back out for a new series. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. They're out. 
out and set. First and ten. Cousins. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 34. He's got it. Room to run. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Here's Robinson up the middle. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. Cousins out of the pistol here. And that one's too far in front of him, so now they're facing fourth down. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth downs instead. Desperation time on fourth down. He finds him beyond the marker. And they're gonna haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. What a call. They wind up with 12 on fourth down and pull off the conversion. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it when all the pressure that drives right on them. Turns out, handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing on. Robinson on the inside give. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Well, Kate, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. You're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. A solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. You know, gains that seem a little tougher to get against a front. Gosh, this QB just makes routine. Such effortless running to pick up a handful on that designed run. Eagles with an extra man in the secondary for this third down. This is Robinson. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. And they've got themselves another first and ten. From the red zone now. Throw reeled in by London. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Way to the marker. It's second and five. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. It's into the hands of Mooney. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11.
Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Looking to throw on third and one. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons make it a four-point game here in the fourth. Drake London with the touchdown. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because <laughs> they want to put a touchdown on the board. And now for the point after, and crucially to bring things within a field goal. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Volley sent up and it's away. Just a three point game now. This one's fielded at the 40 yard line. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Eagles are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can, putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's Saquon. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. From the gun, a give to Gainwell. And he gets it through the midfield stripe but onto the Falcons' side of the field. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Eagles holding on to a field goal lead. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. A give to Barkley. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Set it downs for him at the 38. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. And right away we get a timeout from the defense. 151 to go. to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Now a shotgun hand off to Gamewell. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. 
The Falcons take a timeout to their final one. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. He'll throw it. That pass caught by Dotson. And he's tackled for a short game. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. A lot of pressure on this kick for Jake Elliott. Ball in the left hash, the distance 53 yards. Got all of it, and this is good! And now their lead will push out beyond the field goal. So after that make, the field goal won't cost them a lead, but a touchdown still ties it, or likely probably puts them down a point. Okay, this is one of those moments where the defense now has clarity. They know what the stakes are and what they have to defend. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Falcons returning their offense and this running back to the field. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense, more good numbers well into this second half. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here he is to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. I hate those situations, Kate, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. To throw. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense that just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Looking to throw it. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. And the Eagles make the play that should win in this game. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you got to go get it in that next series. Got to put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. Philadelphia's offense back out for another drive. And they can trot out every offense's favorite formation now, Brock, and kneel out this win. Defense, no timeouts left to stop them. No timeouts remaining here, partner, so they can just run out this clock. And they'll kneel this down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So beneath the chorus of fly, Eagles fly. It's a win for the Eagles. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? <laughs> all of us. Yeah, D, all of the above. It is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline.